Alright, so, um, if you guys are listening to the LP, uh, Everything Wrong, um, album, then this is the video of me explaining it. Um, very, like a very thorough analyst explaining it. So, the, uh, the LP includes 49 tracks, 3 bonus tracks, um, and my dumbass had, um, 11 rest tracks, and then, um, 41 time worked on tracks. So, for, like, 11 of the tracks were rushed on. Um, 41 of the tracks were uh, actually took, they were, like, it was actually time taken on to make it. Um, 11 explaining slash talking tracks, 10 fast tracks, uh, 28 middle pace tracks, and then 4 slow tracks. Um, with, uh, um, with all that, um, I just got to say some stuff before I, I talk about all the, di all the different tracks individually. So fast, whenever you hear, um, at the end of it, like in the fast, um, that term at the end of crying inside, I'm not talking about like fast, like, oh, I'm going to go fast or I'm talking about like, it, it's like a term I use for like, it's a fast pass. Like this, this, my pass was happened so pat, like so fast. And in my brain, I remember it going so fast because of a traumatic brain, like a traumatic um, experiences. And that was just like a term I used. Um, and then another, there's two things I got to say. So I don't actually expect to get high scores on this. Um, maybe like a, like a 4 out of 10 or a 5 out of 10. Nothing like 10 out of 10 or 7 out of 10. Um, if you guys give me those high scores, I will be very, very, very thankful. But I don't expect it to get high scores at all. Um, and, uh, the other thing is, um, after I get an actual professional sounding mic that gets away from my spit, because the microphone I do have is not, is not pro from, it's far from pro, um, and I'm going to get a pro, a pro mic that, like, cancels out the, the noise, it also, like, has, um, very good, re like, reduction with my, uh, my mouth, so it's pretty good, um, I'm shaking because it's a little bit cold, it's December, you know? Whew. All right, so um, the book, the the album is split into six chapters. Um, there's multiple different uh, songs in each chapter, and let's get on to it. So chapter one, the whole description is me just just basically explaining the story and also like um, the side story. Whoa, my hand shaking. The side storyline and also the um, it's like the whole description is basically just explain or explaining the whole like um album basically like what it is the rest tracks I use the fast tracks the slow pace uh, or the slow pace tracks the modal pace tracks um and it's explaining the side story and it's also explaining um why it's like it's like um it's like ninety percent fictional or ninety percent real and then ten percent fictional because there's a side story to it but it's mostly me talking about my real experiences um so that's basically what that is and it's explaining track. Uh, then the first track, which is the tra which is the title track, "Everything Wrong" intro. Um, it's a fast track. It's this one was a, a track I took time on, um, and this track is just me basically explaining everything that's going to be in the album, um, like uh, from stuff about like my aunt to uh, stuff from me being hit by a car, from my thoughts on like mumblers and the underground community and um, the the uh, mainstream rap community and everything in it. Um, so that's basically what the whole entire, sh that song is about. Uh, chapter one, uh, Remember Me Future and Hoobza, which is a middle track, and this one is a track that I did rush. Um, it's a track, uh, remembering, uh, like it's a track that's, um, ooh, it's cold out. It's a track that's supposed to be remembered in, uh, remembrance for, uh, for Juice World. Um, so yeah, it's, that's basically all it is. And it features Hoobza for who, he does the hook. Um, chapter one, my life is a soap opera. This one was my very first song that I ever worked on this track, and it was fast track, um, and it was also a rest track. This was during the time where I had a time where I had like a um, a uh, thought process that I was just like this fast, speedy motherfucker, but I wasn't. And whenever I tried to do it, I was horrible at it. So this is a rush track. Um, if you want to listen to it, that's fine. Uh, you won't very get you won't be, you won't get like a very satisfaction. Um, but it is part of the album, I guess, and um, there, there's a reason why I do edit on this um, and edit on some tracks um, so I can, you know, redo it better. And people who actually like that, like some of the bars that I caught some of the bars can actually get it fully. Um, but this track is just me talking about how, comp like, comparing my, my life to, like, a soap opera because there's drama. There's always drama. There's always something going on in my life that's dramatic, traumatic, and just stressful. 
Um, then uh, chapter one, uh, the track number five, chapter one, Miss You, Dad, for your tune. tune. It, this one was a rush track, but it's also probably one of my uh, most popular tracks. Um, it's uh, a middle, it's a middle pace track, and it's Miss You, Dad, for your tune. tune. Now the intro, if you guys were wondering who was doing the intro, the intro was my dad. Um, which his rap name was going to be Tune because when he was in prison, he would he he was a very good artist, which I would talk about in my vlogs. He was a very good artist, and whenever he did these um, artwork, a lot of people called him Tune because you know Tune is just like a cartoon, and you know, and you know that was his nickname. And he passed away, so I was like, you know what? I have a video of him doing game video. I'm just going to take that audio and put it in the game, like the intro, and then me talk about it. So it's a tribute to my fallen dad. Um. Uh, the sixth track, chapter number one, uh, Time After Time, this one was a middle pace track, and this one was actually my first track I ever took time on, and it's just me talking about my, uh, talk about uh, how I feel about love, and then it's basically t like giving good points about um, should I masturbate, or like should I go get a girlfriend, and if I do, like should I, uh, uh, like should it, what are I giving into my temptations, all that good stuff, so it's basically like a questionnaire track. Um, Chapter, uh, track number seven, chapter one, hit list to those who disbelieved. This was a track I took time on. It's a fast track. Um, this one was actually a track I talked about, like, for people who wronged me, for people who thought that they were, um, the best, that they, the people who thought I was shit. This track is just basically like a shot at them. It's like a diss track type of, um, which you guys might like or might not like. It depends on if you guys like fast, speedy type of tracks. Um, so yeah. Chapter one, uh, the the ninth, the eighth track, losing and I'm cruising. This one was a medium track, and it was also one track I took time on. This track was just me talking about how some of my life differences that, um, you know, between me and some of my family members, and also some of the times that I, um, some of my like I'm lose. Sometimes I lose, and sometimes I cruise. And even though whenever I get hurt, and even though I lose, sometimes I just I cruise on by. Like I I. I do the best I can to cruise on by. And that's basically what the entire track was. Um, so yeah. Track number uh, 9. Crying Inside. Which was a medium and a uh, middle pace track. And it was also a track I took time on. Now this track. This track was a track that I actually. Uh, uh, gave. Actually. Thought into. Crying Inside was just basically me talking about a track. Um, with me talking that like even though. I'm 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 not doing okay. Like I've, I'm a little bit impressed inside, and I'm I'm I might seem like I'm okay on the on the outside, but inside I'm I'm like my soul's crying. That's basically what the whole entire track is talking about. So the next track, um, which is this, uh, the next two tracks are are basically kind of relatable, and they also finish up chapter one or chap yeah chapter one. But the next track um is why, which is a middle pace track, and is also a track that I took time to. It was one of my favorite tracks to do because it's like it starts with the gunshots, and I did that because it's like a it's like a it's like a middle like it's a it's an aggressive song, and it's a song basically me talking about like why didn't my aunt like it's a questionnaire song to my aunt like why did you use me why did you do all these things to me like why why do this and it was just basically giving out good points like that so that's what that tracks about if you were wondering chapter number one you use me future in arizona which was a slow paced song and it was also a song that took time and it's probably one of my best songs i've ever recorded yet and it's um it's a uh, a track just as well as like why but it's this one's not as aggressive it's more as like an emotional sad track like the why wasn't aggressive uh to my because this one's just like a questionnaire as well talking about like the flatter stuff that she did talking about like the kid who slid his wrist uh because he believed in that flat earth uh you know uh do like the blood over intent shit and it, it's basically a question like that um so yeah, and then the chapter one recap, which is me talking, which is an explaining track that I took time on that one, but it was also one that I was explaining the whole entire chapter, so it's, that's all I, that's, it's explanatory. Uh, chapter two, so you pick on me now, featuring characters called Dell, which is actually one of the later tracks that I did, um, on this album. Uh, it was originally not there, but then Cactus uh, basically like asked me if he can be on the album, so I said sure. Um, and this one's a middle track, a middle pace track, and it's a t it's a track I took time on, and um, it's this basically a track that me and Cactus talk about like why did you pick on me, like so you so you pick on me with this type of flow, like I have this flow now, but you are you still gonna pick on me? So you pick on me now, like it's a questionnaire track, but it's also like a hard hitting like question track. Like, like, it answers, it questions, like, you, you, your, your skills and stuff. Um, 
And I think I'll, I'm pretty sure Cat just did a freestyle on, on his on his verse. Um, and then chapter two, Fuck the Racists, which was also a, a track I, I took time on. And it's a middle pace track. Um, and it's basically me talking about how I hate racists. Any types of racists. People who are racist towards whites. People who are racist towards blacks. People who are racist towards Mexicans. All racists. We are all the same color. If you fucking cut your slit, or if you cut a wrist on a white dude, cut a wrist on a black dude, you guys are still going to get the same, ex same results. There's nothing different. You guys... You guys have the same, uh, you might get, not have the same DNA, but you have the same blood. You have the same type of cells. You have the same type of person. Might not have the same melatonin. Might not have the same body shape. Might not have the same uh, vocals, uh, like like um, the way you talk. You might not have the same style and beliefs, but you guys are the same type of human beings. And that's what like, the race was just basically discussing. Then chapter two, Dragon Ball Super Stress, which was a most recent track talking about most recent events, and it's a little bass track, and it's also a track that I took time on, and it's a track that basically talks about all the stress that I've been doing with, um, the reason why I took a break in the middle of making everything wrong, and it's basically a track that talks about, um, that this game, Dragon Ball Super, uh, TCG was actually one of the games that helped me out with this, but it's also, it was also taking a toll on my stress. So that's what the, that song's about. And then You Think You Made Fun of Me, which was a uh, middle and a, a track I took time on. Uh, middle bass track. And it's um, basically kind of like So You Pick On Me Now. But it's kind of like talking about all this stuff that happened with me when I was in middle school. Uh, at this high school called Ellicott High School, which is in Colorado. Um, in Ellicott area. So if you ever visit there, that's what I'm talking about. Um, so that's what that track's talking about. And then, wow, you're an idiot, which is a middle track, and it's a track I took time on, and that track is actually talking about the Flat Earthers and my aunt as well. Um, it's mostly talking about my aunt, but it's it's kind of like talking about my aunt. It's mostly leaning to the Flat Earth community that I'm taking shots at, but it's it's a pretty paced uh, song. Um, and then, Rapping on Success, reaching Chris. This is a middle paced track, and it's a, time, it's a track I took time on. Uh, Chris was... Uh, I haven't actually, by the time I'm recording this, I haven't actually heard his verse, but I'm pretty sure he would do well. Um, but my verse was just basically talking about stuff that even though I fall down or even though I'm going to do this stuff, I'm still going to rap on success. Like, I'm rapping on I'm rapping on success. So, it's basically different things, kind of like that. Like, you rap on success. It's me talking about rap topics that are leading to my success. It, it, that's, that's basically how it is. And then, track... Um, Number 19 is I Will Still Be Here, which is a middle pace track, and it's also a track I took time on. Um, and it's a, a track that um, just basically talks about kind of like uh, um, rapping on success, that even, and uh, losing a cruising. Even though, like, um, most of the shit that has hit me, like the COVID, um, like uh, um, my uh, offbeat type of situation, my, my uh, stress, even though all that shit's happened, I will still be here making music. I will still be here making, like, uh, social media videos. That's basically what that track's talking about. And uh, it's more of a light, upbeat type of track than a depressive, like, um, cinematic track. Um, and then the recap ch of Chapter 2, which is explanatory, um, and it's also talking about the whole entire Chapter 2. Uh, and then Chapter 3, which starts with AGS Rutherford, which is part of the story of um, the side track, which um, is a fast track, but it's also a track I took time on, and it's a track explaining what AGS Rutherford is, and that style and that personality, and it's also in the story where AGS finds, where uh, DJ Jeremy Ray, the person, the persona of DJ Jeremy Ray finds out the persona of AGS, and they just kind of collide, AG takes over, and basically does all this, all his stuff, tries to basically get his work that he, that DJ Jeremy, the persona DJ Jeremy Ray won't do, and all that good stuff. Then uh, the track Sorry Mom was a track that is a middle pace track, but is also one of my emotional uh, tracks, and it's one of my uh, rush tracks. <laughs> it's a rush track. Um, I might do like an edit on it in the future, but I'm not deciding. Um, but it's also a track that was just talking about me uh, apologizing to my mom for all the events that has happened in the past between her, because me and her has had a wild history Whew, through like DHS and all that good stuff, and that's what that track talks about. Um, and then kind of my depression is a fast track and it's also a rush track and it's just basically talking about um, how I uh, basically like uh, I'm mentally cutting my depression. You have this depression and then I cut it, I cut that depression emotion out. 
but then it comes back at me like twice, uh, like times, like two times harder, and that's basically what the tracks talks about. So then the next track, which is part of, because uh, um, uh, you uh, like in the story, um, Dragon Ball Super Stress, you talk about, like you hear about me burning my expressions. So this track is part of the story, but it's also a two part of cutting my depression, which is burning my expressions. And this one is a time I uh, is a track I took time on, and it's also a middle paced track, and it's one that I um talk about me burning my expressions and um in the story where I'm you know I is mainly focusing burning all these emotions and then anger like tricks me and then he basically gets away and he gets he uh sabotages my uh my plan D uh, DJ's plan and then he just takes over DJ and that's what the whole entire um storyline is part but it's a good track it's me talking about like you like uh figuratively speaking i burn most of these expressions by turning them off and then i turn them back on i mostly have anger on and it's base it's like a figuratively uh but also um true type of track um and then the third track or the 25th track uh for chapter three or, or the album is by which is a small or which is a is as as a is a short pace type of song and it's a it's a time it's a track I took time on and it's one of the tracks that is stating that even if I'm not bi I don't I like I am still debating if um straight or bi because like I'm iffy on that situation and that shit's personal but even like even though for the people who have decided that they're bisexual or straight or uh, gay I'm still going to support you guys like you guys I'm going to be supporting and it's it's like a vibe song but also like a serious song like I'm like a support song so it's kind of like that chapter track and then um JR which is a, a middle pace track and is a track I also took time on a it's a track that I basically write a letter um to my past self like you know this is like if this is what's happening like you know i'm going to be there to help you bro but i'm also going to try to write a track to my my future self and that's what the track ends with is um it starts with me writing a letter to my past self then me writing a letter to my future self and that's what jr is because my uh, nickname for my family is jr because jeremy ray and they just put that with initials on jr um so that's where that track is at that. And then the recap, which explains the whole entire chapter three, and then chapter four comes in with a skit, which is killing the world skit, which you, uh, which also features, uh, which is with controversy, and it's a uh, explaining track, and it's also, or it's a skit, I should say. It's not an explaining track; it's a skit, and it's a uh, uh, time. It's a track I took time on, and it's basically uh, DJ Jeremy Ray, the the persona DJ. Uh, DJ. He gets a call from AGS because uh, after that situation from the the track um, AGS Rutherford, um, him DJ and AGS like know each other now, and he basically gets a like a call from AGS and AGS says that need to start the world protocol, and they're just like, well, what's the world protocol? And it's basically a world a protocol that's supposed to stop the stuff that's killing the world, and that's why this gets called killing the world. And with that, he's like, okay, we need to gather all the help from all these like different agents. And, and, and like in the whole description, I explained that this is kind of like the agent is kind of like a symbolism for all the futures that are on there. Uh, Contro, um, uh, R uh, Meow, like uh, Ghost, uh, Chris, all these different, you know, cactus, all these different futures are also in the story agents who are helping DJ and Controversy basically get rid of this killing the world like uh the events and that's why we speak on different things so that's what that uh, skit is about and then uh the check uh chapter four the next track is actually one of my uh um slowest uh tracks um and it's probably it's probably my well knownest track and it's probably my best track my best well spoken track and this was during the times of the protests which was what's his name and it's a uh, small paced uh, or it's a short paced song and it's a time it's a track i took time on and it's also a track that is um it's uh supporting the black lives matter and that's what it is and it's me basically explaining that i hate all the people who are, are killing the police and and don't do that like black lives do matter they're just as equal as mexican or or whites or asian lives they're just as put just as important and that's what the track is about it's a pretty good track um and then the next track which was my most banger track, but also my most rush track. Um, so it's a track I uh, did of my first track I did with Ghost, 
the rapper and it's called differences which me and him just trying to just go off on the beat and just basically talk about our, our differences and i'm pretty sure this was like one of ghosts early like tra uh, tracks as well but this track is just me explaining like how i'm different from you rappers like how i'm different from all you artists is. like i don't do that and that's basically what the track's explaining and it's also like got that vibe uh, it's got like a track that's like meant for you to vibe with and also like just like get like head bob like ooh that shit's hard like that shit that shit bangs bro like it's a banger it's a it's a vibe track and it's also like a track that you have to listen to the lyrics for and then the next track which is the rap king which is a fast track and it's also a track i took time on this is talking about how i feel about the rap game like you need to stop mumbling uh you need to stop teaching kids to just um criticize or just like deteriorize women uh just stop doing the regular rap stuff and it's probably one of my favorite tracks for fast especially in the part where i rap fast and then there's a part where i uh, rap very slow and then I like mumble a little bit just to make a point so with that is what the rap track or the rap game is about and then time after time too future and chris which is a middle pace or like a slow pace song I should say and it's um it's a track I took time with um actually it's a track I rushed with I think yeah um so with that it's uh it's a pretty good track um con or chris basically back then he was lovering so that's why it was there um so that's why some of the lyrics are, are the way it is. Like, uh, me and Red are catching threats. Like, that was because when he was, when I sang that song with him, he was Love Red. But now he's Chris. Um, and uh, it's just me. He, he's talking about, like, some love stuff. Uh, like, a love story. And then I talk about my love story. And then talk about, like, a love song to a certain girl that, like, one of my old uh, girls I laid eyes on trist. So it's kind of like a love song. It's It's mostly a love song. And then uh, the next track, which is God Where You're At, which is Future and Controversy, is a rush song, but rush song, and it's actually a fast song. Um, but it's basically me and Controversy talking to God and asking, asking him God, or asking God all these different questions, like, why are you doing this? Like, why is this happening in my life, and why is this happening around the world? And it's kind of kind of like that. So that's what the track is. It's a rush track. You can enjoy it if you if you like rush shit. Um, if, I'm not proud of it. Um, that's why I'm saying like this album is probably going to get like a a four out of ten or some shit. I'm not proud of it. Um, and then Remember Me Remix Future and Controversy or uh, Future and Hoobza and Kid Broly, which is my second track I've done with Kid Broly. Um, and it's a middle pace track and it's a track I took time with and it's basically a more better version of the first one, which is uh, I can't like it's a track that like Kid Broly basically talks about um, Juice's passing. I talk about Juice's passing and it's kind of like a huge remix, so it's it's pretty good. Um, and then chapter four, this album was Sad Future and Little Pee Pee, which is kind of like a fast, but also, like, or not fast, but like a comedy and also a rap, or like a sad song. But it's a fast song, and it was a song I rushed on, um, but it's basically me talking about how this album is, is very sad. Like, it's not even like a vibe song, it's just me talking about how this album. And I don't know if you guys know this, but if you listen to the end part, I basically put every single title of like the tracks inside of this album and this basically put it inside of like a whole entire bar section you guys can uh look my lyrics up on uh um on uh, genius if you want to to actually look at the bar segment um as well as i'm making a video of all my bars explaining them uh line to line to line to line uh, so that's a fun fact for that song. And then chapter four, Don't Give No Fucks, featuring Rev Ruff Meow, which is also a comedy rapper. And it's a fast track. It's a, a track I took time with. And it's also a track that basically is kind of like a comedy slash uh, sad song. And I, it's, my verse comes in and it's very slow, but it's like, it starts off very good. And then it starts off slow and then middle pace. And I just basically talk about like, uh, like um, basically events that happens in my my life that I just basically don't give no fucks about. And then I send it off to, um, to, uh, Ruff Ruff Meow, and then Ruff Ruff Meow starts doing, like, some comedy shit, making some jokes, and then he does a fast, uh, fast, um, version of his, of, uh, uh, Eminem's, uh, Godzilla fast part, like, he was like, Fiddle with Eminem, and he was like, uh, I don't know, like, I actually don't, I'll put, I'll ask him for the lyrics, because I haven't actually listened to the track, so it's been a long time, but, it's actually a good track like that. I give props to Ruff Ruff Meow because he's improved from just being a, like a, a mumble type, a mumble type uh, comedy rapper to like an actual person who can rap very fast and fluently. So that's, that's pretty good. I give props to him. 
Then there's the chapter four recap, which uh, explains the whole chapter four. Um, that's all that is. And the chapter five statement is a track where, um, because AGS had uh, done the world protocol and now he's in court and then he basically does his statement of why he did it and so that's what the whole entire track is and it's basically a track my first track where it was like a crazy track like i was snapping i was like whoo and it was basically like a figurative thing like i'm snapping and then i'm snapping on the beat and i'm going crazy but i'm also snapping on the beat so that's kind of what it is um and then depressed memories is a track where ags comes back at Dieter jammer ray because um dj wanted a uh he wanted a good life. He wanted a happy life. And then AGS, after he gets out of court, he comes back and then he basically haunts AG or he he haunts DJ and then he takes he knocks out DJ and then he basically says some stuff and it goes into the depressive memories that they both share. And with that, they basically uh, he just explains some of the depressive memories, which in real life is a lot of depressive memories that I have. So that one is a uh, is like a medium track, and it's a track I took time on. And the work on the grind is a fast track, but it's also a rush track. But it was also probably one of my uh, most uh, tracks that it was the track I didn't curse on. I did have some beeps tracks, and that was part of the that the beeps were supposed to be funny. Um, but it was also an informational track, like a track that you're supposed to take a lesson from. Um, so that's that was pretty cool. Um, and then World Gone Wrong is a middle uh, a middle pace song, and it's a track I took time on. And it's basically me talking about like different events that the world has gone wrong with. And that's basically all to explain about that. Brother Hold On is a non-explicit track, and it's also a middle pace track, and it's a track I took time on. And it's basically me talking. It's basically me pre like a track appreciating my brother. And yeah. Then uh, Hit was a track, uh, a middle pace track, and it's a track I took time on about me explaining my uh, my uh, time when I got hit by a car, which was not fun. Don't ever do that. I was a stupid little kid, as you if you've heard the tracks. Um, and then the recap, which is just recapping all of chapter five, and then uh, chapter six, which is life so far, which is me talking about what's happening in my life so far, like even after this whole entire album was being made, even after. Uh, Dragon Ball Super Stress, like this is one of the tracks I talk about what's going on in my life recently. And it's a middle pace track, it's a track I took time on, so yeah. And then uh, chapter 6 is Everything Wrong Part 2, a middle pace track, and it's a track I took time on, and it's a track that's supposed to close out, like the song that's supposed to close out the album with songs, and it's also a track that basically is part 2 from uh, Everything Wrong, and it's basically me talking about school shooters, and then me talking about how I'm going to be in the game with, I'm going to be in the game for a long while, I hate mobile rappers and all this stuff that's happened in my life, and just summing up the whole, most of the album. And that's what part two is. And then the next track is Everything Wrong Instructions, which is a, a explaining track. It's a track I talk time on, and so it's basically talking about what you need to do with this album, how you need to listen to it, and how to get the full story, um, and the reason why it's made. And then the track called Now, which is an explaining track as well, it's a track that uh, closes out the uh, chapter six, and it's a track that basically uh, um, it, that, that uh, explains um, what to do now, right, right after like you can replay it or you can just uh go home or something like that and like it's it's like that and then chapter six recap is closing out with the now and i can it basically explains that like go home like i was trying to do like a deadpool thing like go home there's no uh there's no one to come here like it, i was trying to do that but for like an album way but um with that uh it uh, closes out this, the whole entire album, and then the three bonus tracks, which are just edits of those tracks, which the songs that are being edited is um, My Life is a Soap Opera Differences featuring Ghost the Rapper, and then God Where You're At featuring Controversy. Um, but yeah, another thing I wanted to say that came up on my brain uh, while I was talking about the, the explaining tracks, there is a lot of explaining tracks, but this book is more than just music. It's presented as, or this, this album is more than just music. It's presented as a book, so I'm going to explain. And also, I don't want no one to get confused, like Halloween in Greece, because this story is actually a fictional piece but also is an album of me explaining it and it's an lp my second it's my first rap album but it's also my second album and it's my first lp and it's also a long track like i'm pretty sure there's no other fucking longest track like this in the history of rap so it's like the first longest ever track into the history um but anyways i am jeremy referred that is uh everything wrong explained um i see you guys later i'll salute you guys out have a nice day